Clash of Clans is now on PC. Wait, I gotta turn off my 16 idle games so it can load. Please wait. There's a new event worth $100,000. Wait, tie your shoes before watching this video. A Clash battle against other creators. Wait, I need absolute focus for this hole in one. Close. Let's try this again. Clash of Clans has a new event, Team Trees against Team Seas. Both teams compete to get gold in Clash Battles, $100,000 being split between them. I am both fighting for charity and against charity. The event starts on the 27th of November. Then you can join my team by scanning my QR code or clicking my link. But I can't enter the event unless I destroy a Town Hall level 15 to prove I'm worthy of leading a team. So finally, let's play some Clash. Where's my village? This is not my village. I uh, forgot my password and I'm now on a brand new account. I can't beat a Town Hall level 15 with a Town Hall 1. Oh, I remember, I entrusted my login details to someone in my old clan. If I can rebuild my clan castle, I can get back into the Dragoon clan and ask them for it. I just need 10,000 elixir to rebuild the castle. But to rebuild my castle, I need builders. These guys are the best thing in the game. If I had to choose between getting a sixth builder and world peace, they provide the best advantage to progress in the early game, and you can buy a builder package if you miss them. So I'll get Elixir to join my clan to get my account back. There are two ways to get Elixir from neighboring villages. One, grow crops and trade with them. Two, take everything from them. So I travel to a nearby village with 20 barbarians to attack it. The main goal of battle is to destroy the town hall, but it's usually defended by cannons. These scared my barbarians, so I had the fear centers of their brains surgically removed. They can't feel fear now. I can do this, because video game characters don't have rights yet, but the liberals want to force you to marry this. My fearless barbs won the battle, getting me 3 stars, elixir, and 30 trophies. The more trophies I get, the stronger villages I can fight. My next opponent had more defenses and a sea of graves from whoever was here last. This is gonna be tough, but I created an entire second channel to create cock content. I know the hidden strategy of spam click them all in the same spot. 2,000 more elixir, we're getting close. So that no one steals my elixir, I've built a wall around my cannon, but not around my elixir. Hmm. Cock tip! Don't worry about defense, ever. Only buy army buildings. 10 winning attacks and 1 lost defense is a good ratio. Just don't ask my village civilians what they want. They don't have rights. My next attack only has 800 elixir, so it isn't worth my time. But I can search for another village for 10 gold. So a day's travel and food for 20 barbarians is only 10 gold. What am I doing with my other 1000 gold? Investing. In the cookie clicker black market. I'm 2 months into making the next video and it's painful. I kept searching until I found one that I definitely can't beat, but it has a lot of loot. So I dropped my units right next to the resources. If you attack the mines and storages directly, you get all the elixir and gold inside. I lose one trophy, but I get the loot. My clan will understand that I lost a battle. Our slogan is TAKE EVERYTHING FROM THEM! But my storage can't even hold 10,000 elixir, so I have to upgrade my town hall. But it takes an hour to upgrade, so I will spend that hour hypnotizing you into downloading cop. They sponsored this video, so join my team to fight for Team C's winning $100,000. And I'll win another $100,000 if I get this hole in one. Close. So I traded cookie stocks for an hour. Now with an upgraded town hall, my army is bigger, contains archers, and I can hold 10,000 elixir. To convince the archers to charge to their deaths, I didn't take out their fear, I had a more simple approach. I gave them beautiful families they love and care for, they fight for the protection of their people. Fear is not an option, honor is the only way forward. <clears throat> I went for resources, so I won't destroy the town hall, but destroying 50% of the buildings gives me victory as well as one star. My next battle, I faced a mortar, capable of killing all my units at once with splash damage, but they can't shoot close range. In fact, they weren't really made for battle. They're actually musical instruments. Go into battle. Separate into two groups. Pinch and maneuver. Viva la cock. The enemy villagers are getting stronger, so I need a new attack strategy. My favorite strategy is to summon Pot of Greed to draw three additional cards from my deck. Wait, that's the wrong game. I've played too many different games recently. I won't make that mistake again. My other favorite strategy is to spam click, which I have practiced a lot. I need a few thousand more elixir, so I went to the challenges tab. If I get one more achievement, I'll get enough points to get 2,000 elixir as a reward. The achievement I will get is get a hole in one. This is it. This is the one they'll remember me for. Actually close, what? Okay, how about get 700k subscribers? Uh, I, I guess I could. How about steal 20,000 gold? I found a base with enough loot. They have a lot of defenses, but they're all grouped up, so I ignored the loot and went into battle. Remember, you shouldn't spend money on defense, because they'll steal- TAKE EVERYTHING FROM YOU! And there it is, the achievement got me 2,000 extra elixir, totaling 10,000. I can finally rebuild the clan castle, and join my own clan called Dragoon. Led by Dragoon, where all we talk about is Dragoon. My ego isn't too big. I'm just actually that good. And my clan is right not there.
that, that's not it. Oh, but there's so many clans called Dragoon, which is mine. Maybe I based it in Australia, which is a lie. I'm from Space Australia. It's all in the lore. There it is. I can finally join my own clan, get my main account back, and beat a Town Hall level 15. The join button is grayed out. You need to restart your computer. Please wait. I'm back, but apparently I set up my clan so that only people with a thousand trophies can join. I didn't want any disgusting weaklings like me. I have 132 trophies, and so I have no choice. The grind begins. Please wait. I should mention Clash of Clans on PC works perfectly for most people. I'm just playing from Space Australia on a toaster while 16 idle games are running in the background. I left for a couple hours, and when I came back, I have less trophies because someone attacked me while I was gone. They used the giant unit. Giants are good because you don't need a fancy way of stopping them feeling fear because they have the IQ of a crab and don't feel emotion. Hold up, I just read Con contemplating the crustacean IQ, and now I'm not sure. Come back to me on that. For now, I'll join a different clan to help me climb trophies. Clans are great community places to talk and bond with clanmates and organize wars together. But instead of that, I found a clan where you request and leave. I get extra units to attack, they get XP for being charitable. Then I leave and take advantage of another clan. Friendship has been replaced by trade. I found a base worth 32 trophies, the perfect time to show off the power of the clan castle. My new clan gave me two balloons. The thing about balloons is, they rhyme with Dragoon, which means I have to- Two balloons from the land of baboons, Dragoons usually soon to be fixed in scrutiny, so please excuse me. This is your last opportunity, give you impunity, stop acting stupidly, there's no excuse to me. Give up, cause truthfully, what I will do to me is only pain now, I'll crush you so beautifully. Wait, no, the thing about balloons is they can fly. <laughs> Whoops. So once they take out the archer tower, they can bomb every single other building with no threat of being killed. But even still, climbing trophies is taking way too long. I don't know if I can do it. To get trophies faster, I need to be better at attacking. Luckily, the game has challenges where you can practice combat. So I'll try the new challenge to get better at attacks, to get more trophies, to join my clan, to get my account back to beat a Town Hall 15. Here it is, the Champion's Champion Challenge. Okay, this base is slightly more complex than what I'm used to. I I don't know what half of these troops are. Wait, is that a Town Hall 15? I can, I can just beat that now. I don't need my main account. I have to take this seriously. Spam click strategy. Freeze their expo. Then I summon Pot of Greed to draw three additional cards from my deck. Deploy the royal champion. Send in the balloons. My turn. I summon Pot of Greed. No, I'm frozen now. Please wait. I technically won with 50% damage, but to really win this, I need 100% and to destroy the town hall. Round two. I placed a goblin to draw out their clan castle troops and brought them over to the edge. Placed minions to kill them. Now my golems are tanking and the royal champion is behind dealing damage. It's going beautifully. I discovered one of my spells is an invisibility potion. You never saw this coming. I summon Pot of Greed. Why isn't it working? That went worse than last time. I am destroying their clan castle, Gaku, for the sake of Dragoon clan. I lost with 39%, but at least I got the castle. I'm just not skilled enough. I don't know how to win tough battles. I'm scared I won't win the event. Should I just give up? No. Instead, I bought a copy of The Art of War and read the entire thing in a day. And one particular passage stood out to me. He will win whose army is animated by the same spirit throughout all its ranks. At first I thought my army did have the same spirit. I've enforced the spirit of having no fear, but it says all its ranks, including the leader. I'm still afraid of losing. I want to be the best, but I have to overcome my own fear. So I got a knife and started looking for openings in my skull. No luck. I need a different method. I'm starting with the greatest fear of everyone who plays games. I went outside, touched grass, and talked to a woman. Hey, wanna see my golf swing? Come on, impress her this time. I messed up because I was afraid. I usually get those, so I went back to attacking bases. And then I realized I'm afraid because I care. I feel fear because it matters to me. It's okay to be afraid. You can still push forward. I should never have taken it from my army. I gave the barbarians back their brain. I taught the archers that death exists. The giants. There's no hope for them, I'm sorry. This is my last attempt before I go on trial. I'm going to destroy the Town Hall 15. With me and my army animated in the spirit of acting despite our fear. A goblin revealed the hidden tesla towers at the bottom, then I sent a kamikaze balloon. I dragged the castle troops out and froze them. Then dropped necromancy spells that summoned skeletons to distract the towers while the bulk of my forces at the top. My army was screaming in fear but still charging in. Then get a hole in one! So close! And the minions made it to the town hall level 15 and destroyed it, getting three stars. I can now lead a team that you can join to win the event.